Sometimes, nature can provide you with tools that you never expected. Along rivers and lake shores across the world hides an interesting little secret. You see, recently a fisherman introduced me to one such tool, producing light from river stones. And you can use river stones or landscaping stones, as long as they're translucent. Hey, Jay here. Welcome back to Plasma Channel. Now, I'm not talking fire-starting flint. No, 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 I'm talking a really cool phenomenon called triboluminescence. And it's not just a cool phenomenon. It's also what's known as cold light. And that's because triboluminescence isn't produced through heat. And only specific types of rocks, such as those that have an internal crystalline structure, will exhibit those behaviors. So let's check out the most common type, quartz. Quartz is built of crystalline silicon dioxide, which is organized in a crystal lattice. These lattice are held together by polar covalent bonds, which are very strong and contain a lot of energy. How do you know you have quartz? Hold it in front of a bright light, and some light should shine through. When you apply pressure and grind the pieces of quartz or rock together, you release energy, creating light. In doing so, you're witnessing triboluminescence. Now, triboluminescence is not fully understood, but science does have a general basis as per what might be happening. So let's take a closer look. Now, when the rocks are ground together, lattice bonds are broken. We believe the light results from a recombination of electric charges that become separated when those crystal bonds are broken. When the charges reunite, air is ionized, producing a flash of light. Literally, light from rock. I'm sorry, but that's fascinating. Too bad it's not harnessable. Or is it? The Ute tribe are natives from Colorado. They used to use an interesting ceremonial device. It was a translucent rattle composed of rawhide, and they filled it with quartz. And guess what happened when they shook that rattle? It produced light. Now, if you grind the exact same spot too many times, it starts to get worn smooth, and it's hard to get good traction on the rocks. You'll notice this time around, the light is not as bright. So you can also strike the quartz together, which is exactly what happens inside the rattle. Harnessing quartz in order to produce light? What a brilliant concept. And quartz is good for more than just light. It can create electricity, too. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to subscribe to Plasma Channel. Feel free to leave a question or comment, and to check out our various other episodes. With new science every two weeks, you stay classy.